Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing income tax consequences. I thought uh, for tax residents in Thailand, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Pattaya Mail, that's pattayamail.com. Article is titled, Foreigners in Thai Law, The Changing Pattaya Scenario. Quoting directly, another growth area will almost certainly be the income tax consequences for tax residents. Well, first, and again, I'm not trying to like nitpick anybody here, but we're talking about fine points of ta tax law here. It may not necessarily be income tax. There's other types of tax, capital gains tax, withholding tax, all sorts of things. Here in Thailand, the specific business tax, transfer taxes associated with property. But again, they keep talking about it like it's an income tax. Again, it may or may not be, but these are terms of art. They have specific meaning. And again, they're used, and again, I'm not calling anybody out exactly on this because when you're talking in like a forum, like a newspaper or something, yeah, you're gonna have an off the cuff sort of element to your discussion, I get that. But when you're talking about something as precise as tax, that's probably not the best way to, to sort of approach it, I guess I would say. In any event, quoting again, another growth area will almost certainly be the income tax consequences for tax residents, Thai or foreign, who spend 180 days or more in Thailand over a calendar year and remit cash from abroad. Now that's a really important point. The remittance of cash from abroad and the nature of that remittance will drive the analysis regarding tax accessibility and liability. Quoting further, our understanding is that the Thai Revenue Department will be publishing forms and a commentary later in the year. I, I haven't seen anything to support the fact that that's a foregone conclusion. I've seen some implication of that, like if you're reading between the lines, there, there is some element of truth in that, but I'm not operating from the presumption that we're going to see a change in the actual stipulated rules from the Revenue Department. That said, quoting further, hopefully this covers contentious issues such as double taxation treaties and pensioners living here on pre-taxed income. You know, I would not hold my breath for that. Why? Because that's not the way, tie, that's not the way tax law works. They're not going to be able to, eat, well, they may, who knows? I don't know what they're doing, but I find it very unlikely that they're going to be able to issue a sort of one-size-fits-all primer to how tax law in Thailand is going to be applied in all situations to all foreigners. There are literally, they brought up double taxation treaties. There are dozens, if not hundreds of those. You know, you're, you're going to be able to come up with a unified set of rules that encompasses all of that? No, very unlikely. You know, at the end, of, and it's not, again, it's not a foregone conclusion they're going to issue any major rule changes at all. They could just leave it as it is. And look, we had to, I remember dealing with the raw law coming off of a Trump tax, going back into the first Trump administration when that came down the pike. And what was that, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act or whatever is colloquially referred to as Trump tax. In any event, yeah, I remember seeing the raw law on that and like, it didn't make, it hardly made any sense. It took forever to wade through all of that. I remember other folks, you know, out there in the world when they were ana analyzing that stuff. I mean, some people had one take on it, others had another. It takes a while to shake out and then the regulatory structure gets put into place. Again, the notion that there's going to be like one size fits all primer for all of this, I, I, I just don't think that that's very likely.